Hey foodies, I made some delicious garlic herb oven roasted fish. You are going to love it. It is easy, simple flavors, so scrumptious. Let's get into it. So I like to do my oven roasted fish with the head and tail on. So it was cleaned up. The insides are nice and clean. Rinsed it with cool water and lime juice and then I pat dried it. Now I'm just making these slits right across the fish just to help all of those lovely seasonings get in there and to help it cook fast too. So the same thing you do on that side, just repeat it on the other side. Super easy. Now I'm gonna put together the really easy marinade. I have some olive oil. You could use canola oil if you want to. And then I'm gonna add minced garlic and scallion. If you want to blend this whole marinade, just puree everything, that's fine too, you could do that. Next, I'm going in with finely minced thyme leaves. This is fresh thyme, please don't use dry thyme. And then some more flavor. I have finely minced scotch bonnet pepper and some lemon zest. If you don't have lemon zest, you could use orange zest, but I wouldn't bother with lime zest though. Now I'm gonna add some dry powdered seasoning. I have black pepper, ginger powder, and Maggi all-purpose seasoning. If you don't want Maggi, you can use your favorite fish seasoning, or you could even use paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, okay? Salt is absolutely optional if your seasoning has a lot of salt in it already, okay? Now you could give this a taste if you want to, okay? And then you go ahead and just rub that seasoning all over and into the fish. Make sure you open it up, put that right in there and all those slits, you're gonna put the marinade right in there as well. As I said, you can blend all of this. You can puree it if you want to. This is optional, but I put a few slices of onion and some thyme sprigs inside, okay? These are very small um, fish, so you don't have to put too much stuffing, but I just felt like putting the onion and the thyme in there. Now you can marinate this overnight if you want to, or you can marinate it for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then for baking guys, you can use a baking tray or baking sheet. You could use a baking dish. I am just using my grill and I'm just gonna lay the fish on top. I've brushed on some oil 
and then all i'm gonna do is just lay the fish on there if you'd like to you could actually put some sliced veggies underneath the fish please make sure you have preheated your oven guys for at least 20 minutes okay we're going to be doing 450 fahrenheit and you want to cook it for about 12 to 15 minutes and then at the 15 minute mark i'm going to turn on the broiler just to get some extra color if necessary I cut a lemon in half i'm just gonna put it on the grill because once it gets grilled that just helps with the flavor when i'm squeezing that fresh lemon juice all over the fish also that juice is gonna seep into the fish while it bakes making it so scrumptious so after 15 minutes of baking plus the brief broiling this is what we get a really nice fragrant garlic herb fish it smells so good whatever uh, flavored oil is left in your baking vessel just brush that all over the fish and serve it right away and guys if you want to use butter you could actually use butter instead of the oil okay and you just brush that all over the fish it was so flavorful guys and what i love about it it is so simple i had this for a late lunch but you could easily add this to your dinner spread you know when you have that nice sunday dinner spread with all those yummy items this could definitely be a good choice for those folks who want to have seafood i really enjoyed it and i hope you do too remember to check out the description box for the ingredient list Thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time.